Oh, hi everyone. I'm Shelly and it's time for Ask a Biologist. Students from all over California have submitted questions and they will be answered live today by fisheries biologist Derek Acom. Derek is here and let me remind you, he's an environmental scientist with the California Department of Fish and Wildlife. He gets to hike creeks, catch and count juvenile salmon and steelhead, and manage restoration projects to build salmon habitat back into our local streams. And sometimes he even gets to answer student questions from his own backyard. We are so lucky to have him. Our first question for Derek is from Rowan at Parkside Elementary. Rowan asks, why do salmon die when they get back to their home? Thanks, Shelley. Hi, Rowan. Most steelhead die after spawning. However, a small percentage do survive and return to the ocean. Salmon die after spawning because they have used up all their energy swimming upstream and producing eggs. Salmon don't eat while migrating to spawn. Their digestive system and other organs shrink and all their energy goes into making roe, milt, and swimming. When they are done spawning, they have a little energy to guard their red before they die. Other animals feed on their carcasses, including other fish. The juvenile salmonids from the previous year also feed on the carcasses. These salmon carcasses are great for feeding benthic macroinvertebrates or bugs and insects in the water. This helps ensure the salmon fry have a ready supply of food when they emerge from the gravel. That is so interesting. Thanks for that great explanation. Well, Derek, we have time for one more question. Rasher's question is gonna be our last one for today. Rasher asks, why do salmon have a yolk sac and other fish don't? Thanks for your question, Rasher. Salmonids, this includes salmon and trout, hatch from their egg with a ventral yolk sac. This is the orange bulge on their bellies. Salmonids absorb this yolk sac while they are still in the gravels. While this absorption happens, they finish developing their fins and mouths. They build the muscle strength they will soon need when they emerge from the gravels and swim in open water. The yolk sac provides the nutrition and energy they need to grow and survive. Once their yolk sac is gone, they need to swim and catch their food in the stream. Other fish absorb their yolk sac while they are still in the egg. When these other fish hatch, they are ready to start swimming and eating right away. Now back to you, Shelley. That is fascinating. Thanks so much, Derek. This has been really fun and really informative.